back to Toy Transformations. I'm Shell and today's video is gonna be so amazing and super hairy. We're gonna show you how to transform three hair adorable dolls into Ladybug, Katna, and Antibug, some of our favorite characters from Miraculous Ladybug. Let's get started. First, we're gonna make the her adorable version of Cat Noir. So, we need to paint her sweet costume with some jet black acrylic paint. Let's start with the top. Then, let's paint her gloves. One of the coolest details about Cat Noir's costume is that the gloves have claws on the fingertips. That's super neat. And with some more black, we're gonna paint her legs. Did you know that even though Cat Noir's suit looks like it's made out of leather, the creators of the show said that the material is actually unknown? For the color of the suit, we're gonna use a small piece of air dry clay. You just need to attach it to our doll's neck like so. You can use a modeling tool to shape it and give it a cool texture. Now, let's use some more of that clay to make her awesome combat boots. Have you already taken the quiz of which her adorable doll are you? <laughs> Who did you get? And with some more air dry clay, we're gonna make the cool details of her boots. You just need to grab the clay around the ankles like this. They're gonna look super realistic. Next thing we're gonna do is paint all those cool details we made with the clay with a little bit of jet black acrylic paint, starting with the neck piece. And then the awesome combat boots. First, we're gonna paint these trims. Make sure you spread out the paint evenly without leaving any blank spots. Then we can paint the rest of the boots. <laughs> like these guys. What do you think Black would do if he found out that this her adorable is the new Cat Noir? <laughs> I think he would be okay with it as long as she gave him some cheese. <laughs> Now, grab an ultra thin brush and a little bit of metallic silver acrylic paint. We're gonna give those combat boots some sick steel toes. Perfect, guys! Then, we need to paint our doll's weapon, her awesome staff. So, let's use some more of the silver acrylic paint, just like this. It's time to make her awesome belt with a cool cat tail. We just need to roll a thin piece of clay like this. Then, grab it around her waist and give the tail part a cool pose. Next, we're gonna use our modeling tool to poke some tiny holes all along the belt. This is gonna give it a super neat texture that will make it look more realistic. Once the clay is dry, we can paint the belt with some jet black acrylic paint. I think this is one of my favorite features of Cat Noir's costume. It is so cool! And something that we cannot miss is a mask for her. So, once again, we're gonna grab an ultra thin brush and we're gonna paint the mask all around her eyes, like so. Look, she's beginning to look just like Cat Noir. But to make her look more alike, we're gonna dye her hair with this yellow permanent marker. We're also gonna attach these hair locks we've got from a wig to hide away the blue highlights on her hair. Just use a tiny bit of clear glue and stick them right on. Now we can paint the hair locks we've traced with the same yellow marker we use for the rest of her hair. And then we need to paint her face. Soon our doll will be ready to take down all the bad guys by yelling cataclysm! How neat guys! Now, we need to work on the details of her eyes. First, we're gonna paint the irises with the tip of our modeling tool and a little bit of dark green acrylic paint. And we're gonna make her eyes look ultra shiny by applying a thin coat of clear nail polish. Wow, she's already looking pretty amazing! Another thing that we cannot miss in this costume are her cat ears. We've made them by bending a piece of wire like this one and attaching some small pieces of clay. She's almost ready, guys! We just need to give those cut ears some color. Use a little bit of jet black acrylic paint and try not to paint her hair. Ready to see the final results? Here we have the hair adorable Cat Noir! Wow, I can't believe how neat she looks with that awesome costume! Just look at her boots, her belt, and her ears! They are amazing! Let's move on to the hair adorable version of Ladybug! We're gonna start by painting her super cute costume. So grab a little bit of vermilion red acrylic paint and start painting the top part. 
Now, let's also paint her legs and feet. Did you know that Marinette said in one episode that her suit is made with indestructible fabric? How cool is that? Time to start working on the details. Let's start by attaching some air dry clay to her neck to give that costume a color. Just like this. And Ladybug is gonna need her ultimate weapon, her cool yo-yo. So let's attach this small clay ball to her waist. And the yo-yo will be ready. Then we need to paint the yo-yo red. Use the same shade you use for the rest of the costume. And with a tiny bit of jet black acrylic paint, we're gonna give her color some color. Wait till you see her, guys. This costume is gonna be sick. And you know what time is it? Tiki spots on! We're gonna give her costume a lovely dotted pattern with the tip of our modeling tool and a tiny bit of jet black acrylic paint. Just tap gently like so all over her costume. Then we need to paint the dots on her yo-yo as well. Do you guys think Ladybug and Cat Noir could help the Avengers defeat Thanos? I think that would be unbelievable! Time to paint her mask. We're gonna need an ultra thin brush and a little bit of vermilion red. We just need to paint around her eyes like so. And with the tip of our modeling tool and a teeny tiny amount of black, we're gonna add a few dots to Ladybug's mask. Perfect, guys! Wow, she's already beginning to look exactly like Ladybug. But we still need to dye her hair. This purple permanent marker will make her look exactly like Marinette. And let's paint her face. Did you guys know that Marinette's hair color is a homage to old comic books that would use blue highlights on black hair? How sweet! She's almost ready. We just need to work on the details of her eyes. First, let's use a tiny bit of cornflower blue to paint the irises like so. And with some clear nail polish, we're gonna give them an ultra shiny finish. Are you guys ready to see how the hair durable version of Ladybug will look? Wow, she looks unbelievable! Just look at that awesome costume with those cute dots on it! And the details of her hair and the jojo make her look just like the real ladybug! It's time to make our last transformation of the day! Antibug, ladybugs and fetuses! Now that you're familiar with the process, this should be a piece of cake! Grab a thin brush and start applying jet black acrylic paint all over her body! Cover everything but her neck and head, even the fingers. Then grab a tiny piece of air dry clay and wrap it around her neck, like this. Did you watch the episode in which Ladybug has to fight Antibug? They had the same powers! Now just cover the piece of clay with some jet black acrylic paint. Her bodysuit will be almost ready with that detail. We're just missing the most characteristic thing a ladybug has. The spots all over its body. Paint them with the tip of your modeling tool. Remember Ladybug uses Lucky Charm? But Antibug has the anti-charm. Let's cover this straight piece of wire with scarlet red to make it. To finish her costume, let's make her mask. Just paint it directly on her face with some more jet black acrylic paint. And don't forget the tiny little red dots. Which costume do you like better, ladybugs or antibugs? Tell me in the comments below! This her adorable doll needs to rock cool hair, even after she's transformed. So let's give her highlights with a regular light orange highlighter. And let's also give her blonde bangs with a hair extension. Simply attach it to her forehead with some clear glue. Going back to the anti-charm, let's make the top part with a piece of red glitter foam. It's so sparkly and it will look just like the original one. The only odd thing here are her blue eyebrows. Let's make her look more like our character by getting rid of them. We're using a cotton swab and some nail polish remover. Antibugs got blue eyes, like are her durable doll, so let's leave them like that. But we will add some clear nail polish to them to make them extra shiny. We're done, but don't forget to attach both pieces of the anti-charm together using some clear glue. It's such a cool and sparkly weapon! And here we have her, guys! She looks perfect, don't you think? This character is so interesting! She really is Ladybug's exact opposite! Oh, that 
was it for today's Ladybug special, guys. Here we have our fantastic, adorable versions of Antibug, a cumatized version of Chloe. Next to the one and the original Ladybug in her characteristic red suit. And finally, the meow-tastic Cat Noir, ready to fight crime. Don't forget to tell me in the comments below which of these miraculous transformations was your favorite. Subscribe and ring the bell for more awesome videos like this one. Give us a like and don't forget that we love you so much. Bye-bye.